So, yeah. Kind of felt like something cold but it stopped me. The streets are playing with my mind. I'm losing everything in sight. Time stands still as we go blind. We're losing everything. The streets are playing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anthony. If you do not know who I am, <clears throat> I am. You know what? I keep on saying like I'm new to YouTube, but like low key, I'm not. And I don't know if the older subscribers of me in the past um, are still subscribed. I don't know. But if y'all don't know, I used to have a YouTube channel, a YouTube channel way back in the day. And I say way back in the day because I'm talking about like 2000 like 10 type like back in the day and yeah i used to make youtube youtube videos back in the day and you know i can't really remember exactly how much subscribers i had but i remember you know i had a slow a small fan base of who would watch and back in that time you know i created i mean i would film beauty videos as what you would call nowadays a beauty guru and in that time you know i would make videos about makeup and because back in the day like not much men wore makeup but if you did wear makeup it was cool you know what i mean so i did videos on like everyday makeup for men and like get readies with me and like hauls and all that and i that's that's pretty much what my content was based off of I stopped making YouTube videos because <clears throat> I believe at that time my camera had gotten stolen and two, we were in the process of like remodeling our house so and I was in high school so a lot of things had took place as to why I stopped recording my videos and now I'm back on YouTube super excited and ecstatic about me having an, uh, starting my YouTube channel again because you know I when I had recorded videos back in the day compared to now, it was completely different. Completely. Because you just created videos for the fun of it. You loved creating videos, so you created them. It wasn't about the lighting. It wasn't about the camera. It wasn't about the quality of the of the video. It was just the, the quality of the product. You wanted to talk about the product. You uh, reviewed products. You You basically gave people like an insight of products which is like today but back then it, i would say i guess you could say it was a bit more humble than it is now because now it's like you know you have to have the right camera clearly you know i'm not that i'm stressing not that i stress that stressed out about camera quality because i don't but i i do want to create content that is quality you know and now compared to before I have the money to buy these things. Back in the day, I was young and I didn't have money, and it, I did have a camera. But like I said, I guess it just wasn't so much pressure on quality as it is now. And like I say, even though I'm not putting pressure on myself to bring quality, I want to bring quality because I can. So that's like a little intro because um, I haven't really talked about it since you know I started recording YouTube videos. Um, I didn't give y'all an insight of you know back in the day when i used to record youtube videos anyway so this video is going to be random as because it's not about my life it's not about fish it's not a vlog it's um a product review and I, I, the reason i guess i gave you this background is because i'm gonna tell you why i use this product and i haven't used it in years but back in the day when i did use it the crap was phenomenal and it's and it's if you have oily skin watch this video because this product ex itself is random super random and you're, you're gonna probably be like okay what the like why would you put that on your face but i'm telling you what i'm telling you because i know what i'm telling you and back in the day th i did create there was i mean I, I had multiple videos but there was this one video that got a lot of attention and i got a lot of i think this was the one video that i had like the most views on and it was on this product right here and don't i fucking i freaking just love this camera bro like 
this camera would have been the fucking business back in the day. You feel me? Because it's like, it has like um product showcase. I don't know exactly the right terminology about what this is called, but let me tell you. It like focuses off your face and onto the product like with ease. You feel me? It's like, dang, this is like worth every penny. Anyway, so this product right here is called Philips Milk of Magnesia. Okay, and it is for like, I guess it's a form of laxative because it's a saline laxative for cramping or whatever. I don't know. I don't use it for that. What I do use it for is for my face. And if y'all know, I have oily skin and I complain that I've complained about this in a couple of my videos. But in my in my like current life now, I'm oilier than ever, especially in a time like this, because it's hot. And I live in San Antonio, Texas, where it's hot and it's humid. Um, but back in the day, I used this and literally not a drop of oil would peek through my skin. Like, none. So I'm going to put this on right now because I was like, I couldn't remember. I'm like, why did I even stop using this if it was like the business? You feel me? But I guess I fell out of love with products, um, beauty products and stuff like that to where I just didn't really care about my skin or putting anything on it. But let me tell you, that's finna change today because we finna, we finna get this face right. You feel me? So, if I can remember this correctly, and you see, this is how you know this is gonna be like a legit review product because I'm not a beauty guru by any means and I'm just, you shake it, you open it. Okay, so here's another thing. Back in the day, I used to use the original one and one time I did get the cherry like by accident because that's all they had and the same same situation as this one all they had was the cherry version so we're just gonna have to use what we're gonna use but i'm not gonna say that it doesn't work because it still works just as much it's just pink so pretty much it's like super liquidy like it's like milk you feel me so i myself have put this in a different container and used it from there like a squeeze bottle a much smaller but right now, since I don't have that, I'm going to use it in a different way. And I'm just going to use whatever, whatever is in this cap. So, yeah. Let's put this bad boy on. So, this is how I usually do. This is what I remember doing. I'm going to put some more in this cap because... <coughs> if you're using this for your face, and this, this is a small, a small bottle... That is going to literally last you forever because I only remember ever buying like two. And the only reason why I bought another one, which another one, another one, which one was the cherry was because I lost the other one. So pretty much I just put it on my face like this. And. Okay, this cherry smells hella strong. So I put it on my face like this. And. We put it around our nose and our cheeks, everywhere. It's gonna go everywhere because if you're like me, bitch, you're fuck, you're freaking oily, like as heck. Like people usually tell me they're like, "Are you sweating?" No, I'm not sweaty. I'm just oily. So I rub it into my skin like this. And for those of you that don't know. I have a lot of redness in my skin, so when you see this redness come through, don't freak out, cause that's just how it is. And that's another thing too, you know, my skin is like, it has a lot of redness, right? So whenever I get oily, it gets red. And that's why I say like, I don't like my skin feeling the way that it does because it's oily and it's red and I just feel like inflamed and I don't like that. So. Pretty much, I'm gonna blend this into my skin. And you kinda have to be careful because it does leave, um, it does leave a um, like white cast on your face. So you have to be very careful because if you put too much, see how it kinda dries? You know, you're going to see it. So, pretty much that's it. You put it on your face and you're good to go.
Now, I know this video was random, but I had to come and share it because, like I said, back in the day when I recorded this video, I myself was just doing what I... How do I explain this? I've tried many, many things for my oily skin. Let's just start there. My skin is extremely oily. And like I said, I've tried many, many products that do not work. Some products that do help, but if you're like me and your skin, like there's nothing that your skin like is to the max oily, no matter what kind of bitch, it might, no matter what kind of products you use is going to come through this, however, I, I mean, I can understand why they don't, I guess they don't like advertise it as that or products don't come out with something that is like that because it's not meant for your face, but it's to a high, like extreme, like it's potent and your oiliness will not come through. Let me tell you. So if you're a dude like I, and you're not into beauty products as like in general, whether you're gay or you're not, and you struggle with oily skin, this right here is finna save your life. And you don't even have to tell anyone that you use it for your face. But not only that, let's just say if you do end up using it for your face, you don't want a, a chick or people to freak out because you're using a beauty product when you just have this on your counter. They're just gonna think you have like, um, constipation. <laughs> if y'all guys enjoyed this random video, if you're one of my subscribers and you struggle with oily skin, try this. I'm telling you right now, to save your life and that's not a period thank y'all so much for tuning into this random beauty uh video and, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber trust me the content is worth it you just don't see it yet but just be a part of the gang and i promise you you won't regret it go ahead and like this video subscribe turn on your bell notifications and i will see y'all in another video okay bye guys